Yo, what's good, guys? Coach Tech here. So today we got some more, uh, <laughs> some more Chinese products, but these ain't Chinese RGB fans. This is from Asia Horse. This is their uh, new Ram heatsink. All right. So if you want to, you know, get all RGB'd out, you basically got to cop one of these from Asia Horse, and you can essentially get all RGB'd out. These are the Ram heatsinks I mentioned. You could cop basically two of them for 19 bucks and you cop a four pack they also make four of these and you could cop four pack for it was like 30 bucks prices always change with these chinese you know products usually hit the link in the description below for the amazon it's going to basically take you and it's going to give you the right price the current price depending on when you're watching uh this review but anyways i got two boxes the reason being is i got two colors we got in one box red and one box silver but anyways the presentation for asia horse is completely whack as always there's no specs absolutely none we just got asia horse we got ram heat sink um and that's basically it and we just got a box check it out with the horse and that's it so we got their social medias this service hotline i, I don't understand why there's a phone number here i this this, this ain't no 800 number this is, you know, somewhere in China, but come on, man, like realistic, pro like, all right, so this is ARGB, this is the gray one, and this is the ARGB red one. Okay, so it's listed here, but anyways, let's take it out. Um, all right, so these are the thermal pads. Can this thing, like, open up a little more? Thank you. All right, so these are the heat sinks themselves. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. These are the thermal pads. Thermal pads. We got plenty of thermal pads. Uh, we got a cute little screw over here. Uh, we got a cute, but what the heck is up with the head of the screw though? Can you see this? We got a screwdriver here, but okay, I guess that's with their own screws because I don't see there's a tip. There's no tip on this screwdriver. But anyways, bunch of thermal pads, thermal pads, thermal pads. Uh, we have a, a, a remote here essentially uh, for we have SATA powered we have a mail coming out out here um, what else we got here so this is different modes we got I guess some mode slow and something else here shout out to by the way shout out to my discord server shout out to Poltai um, this one is for you he actually did review these as well I'm gonna have his uh, vid, to, vid in the description below. He actually also broke it down, really, really interesting. I appreciate that. This one is for you, homies. Uh, okay, we got all of this. Let's check out the red ones. So we got the red, oh my, look at this. I just beast moded this box, man. Asia Horse, work on your damn boxes, man, please. Again, thermal pads, thermal mats, these are red. Uh, we got thermal pads, again, with the remote over here. But anyways, this, we're gonna do the installation of everything. So these are red. They looking absolutely nice, I gotta say. And these are the silver ones. Let's check it out. We got red. And then we got this grayish look. And we got the Asia Horse logo. Check them out right here. We got this. And then we got these. Let's see if, this, if you guys can see them better. So something like this. But anyways, they're going to make us give us the whole RGB goodness. So now this is basically your ARGB setup. And this is your male um, this is your this is your female a ARGB five volt ARGB and this is your male um, three pin uh, ARGB. This is if you want to daisy chain all of them, you're more than welcome to do. But anyways, like I said, I am gonna install it. Uh, what you could also do essentially is you could just connect this right, this to here, right, and then you could use them. If this thing goes in, and then you could use them via this basically this remote here if you want to do it like that this should be pretty interesting now this does work with the asia horse hub um as pulitz i actually did mention in, in his video and i'm going off his video here that you could basically can connect them actually let me just uh with this power so they have a little uh four pin power over here and then you could just basically do connect them actually let me just grab the asia horse hub so i did grab asia horse hub let me take this bad boy out so you can connect them via ba, 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 ba. so i believe you have to skip the first one so we have here six so you want to skip the first one so it's going to be five and then we're going to plug this bad boy in like this i believe but I am going to install this. We are going to rock with this. I am curious if it's going to, how it's going to work as well. But I believe how he mentioned, again, I'm going off what he was saying in his vid. He's the first one to do it. So again, a shout out to him again. But anyways, you plug it in into this one, I believe. But again, 
into you skip one so you plug it into the fifth one and then essentially you go i would have to double check that as well so we're going to be all on the safe side but anyways uh how to install them we are going to install them like i said so uh a very interesting design we have the asia horse led black led light over here this is basically all some sort of aluminum and then you could screw them in over here oh so it basically just tightens them i want to say where's that little screwdriver so I want to see some. So this thing over here basically just tightens them or something. So, oh, okay. So, all right. So just take, oh, okay. Okay. So you want to loosen them out, right? So you loosen them out a little bit and then you're going to slide in the Ram over here and then you're going to tighten them. Oh, that's all it does. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then essentially they have the heating pad, the thermal pads. We're going to go over that right now. And we're going to uh, basically put everything in. Listen, this is very, 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 very flipping important, guys. Very, very important. The RAM that you have when you're going to take out the heat sink. All right, check it. In my, in my case, I had the Vengeance, the LPX Corsair Vengeance RAM. Now, this is not a screwed design. This They have this design for this RAM essentially for thermal pads and 3M tape. So taking this out was complete headache guys be very careful what i had to do is use a, use a heat gun as well as i had to pry them out so you see right here right so this is all essentially the thermal pads here and this is the tape that was basically sticking out to the ram the ram itself is here so be very careful when the ram's in right you're going to want to use a heat gun if you have this some ram are, are, are in a sense are very simple they're just screwed Right, they have screws depending on the RAM. They have basically screws you just unscrew them and then you can just pop it out. But for this case, if you do have this RAM, be very, very careful, guys. What you're gonna wanna do is use a heat gun and then pry it and then it's slowly gonna pop off and then this is the RAM. But again, again you know, be very, very careful. I don't want you guys breaking anything. I don't want you guys damaging your RAM. But again, if you do have this case, best probably not to use it, not to, I, I wouldn't say probably this is would be worth it because look at this like you know I had the tape basically stick on so be very very careful guys it was very it was dude you don't understand it was really a headache I had to buy a heat gun and do all that it was a complete pain but anyways all right so I actually just installed two just for practice uh, so basically what you have to do is these two retention screws you're gonna unscrew them right as well as you're gonna need the thermal pads right and the the adhesive all right so we're going to unscrew the two retention screws right and this is the led light bar which we're going to also take out i'm just going to use this as reference gonna unscrew two of them uh, this is a handy dandy screwdriver it is annoying but i don't want to use i'll just use these screwdrivers I'll, okay so we're going to take them out this one we're going to take out okay so it's basically out, right? And this is the, essentially, this is the light bar, whether you want to keep it or not. The light bar goes, see, I can't F this up because I want to use this as reference. I guess let's put this here. The light bar goes up top. So it's going to be like that. So now we're going to grab the RAM. We're going to put the thermal pad onto the RAM, both sides of the plastic. And then we're just gonna put it right here on the controller on the memory itself. Remember, this side where the memory is, this side in this particular RAM, there's no memory here. The, I'm just put them like right here on the back a bit. This side, I'll put them right here. Then, what we're going to want to do is we're going to take the adhesive. Again, there's no instructions. I guess kosher is going to be the instruction guy here. We're going to take the adhesive and we could just put the adhesive onto the heat, onto the actual metal itself, or we're going to just put it on. In this case, we're just going to put it over the, the uh, thermal pads. Next, what we're going to do is we could flip it right we have to flip it was it gonna go this way right we're gonna flip it this way uh, don't get stuck don't get stuck because then you're gonna fall oh shit almost got stuck 
And then we're gonna just line them up over these two metal brackets. And then we're gonna push them in. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, gotta put them correctly. Just line them up as best as you can. You see, you don't want that to happen. Okay, I think it's fine. Now then what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna take this adhesive. Man, this is such a pain in the ass process to be honest, guys. Oh man, just keep your RAM as is, y'all. <laughs> RGB man <laughs> you cats and your RGB stuff um, and we're gonna take this out okay maybe I like it and then we're gonna put the adhesive over here and then we're gonna put the LED light bar right how does it go light bar goes what was it? like this right we're gonna put the LED light bar over like this, put them a little too close maybe. I'm just gonna loosen them out. We're gonna put the LED light bar right here. Push this down a bit, push it down a wee bit right here. All right, now it's snapped, all right, it's perfect. Now, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this other side and we're gonna put it over where the screw is. We're gonna try to line them up with the holes. Just knowing when you're doing it like that. And then we're gonna line them up like right here. And then we're gonna put the screws in, right? We're gonna put these little small screws in here and then we're gonna essentially just add some pressure. There you go. And then we're gonna take the other screw and then we're gonna put it in here and then essentially do the exact same thing. Just screw them in and voila. And that's basically it. And this is how you essentially install it. It's a bit of a pain in the behind doing it, to be honest. And that's it. That's how it is installed. These are the silver ones. These are the gray ones. These are the red ones. Uh, very simple. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop them in, right? We're gonna pop them in, but the only problem is these wires are gonna be hanging. So we're gonna see once once it's gonna be installed in the ring and I have one more to install. Right over here, I have one more to install. You know, I hope this helps you guys out, but very simple. You're gonna put the thermal pad over and then you're gonna put the adhesive over the thermal pad. And then on the back, you're gonna put the thermal pad and then you're just gonna basically put them in, you know, line them up like this, how I did it and basically install them. Very simple process of installation. I hope I explained everything to you guys here. But anyways, let me install them into the uh, the PC and uh, let's see how it rocks. Also, one thing guys, remember, like I said, with the sticky, when you're trying to pry it, be careful. Look, essentially like if the camera catches it, when I was prying it, you know, I made some, you know, lines over here, a little damage, but it, it, the RAM should work. I hope it actually does work, but be very, very careful. If you do have your memory, which is, you know, glued in like this, right? If there's, it's not, if it doesn't have, if it's a screwless design, be very careful. If it's screwed, if it's basically has screws, it's a lot easier to take out. So again, guys, I can't stress this enough. Be very careful because if it's not, it's a very, if it's your, if it's like this, be, you know, it's really, really a headache. You're gonna have to use a heat gun. I probably won't recommend it, but if, you know, if it's like screwed and if your RAM is basically screwed in, if it's easier to unscrew, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So again, be very, very careful. But this is how to install it. Let me install the other one quickly and let's plug it in. Let's go. All right, so once they're all installed, uh, hopefully correctly, again, no no, you know, no manual came with, you know, how to install these things, which is absolutely insane. What you could do is once once you're gonna plug them in into, the, into your motherboard, you could daisy chain all of them, right? So let's just take these, for instance. I'm gonna daisy chain them. them. I'm gonna take these, um, should have done this. I'm gonna, I could daisy chain them and then they're gonna all work in unison with one color since I'm gonna use the Asia Horse Hub. But again, you don't have to use the Asia Horse Hub. So we're gonna, gonna connect them here. This uh, ARGB goes here and then we're gonna, you know, you could essentially connect them all. And then when you're gonna plug them in, right? You're gonna plug them in, into the Asia Horse Hub and then essentially we're gonna get all the colors. So you could just daisy chain as how many, you know, I have four, I'll just daisy chain all of them together. If you don't want to do that, you could use this controller. If, you, if you're not going to use an Asia Horse Hub, you could use this controller, 
right? So you could just plug this in or you could just daisy chain all of them, right? And then I could just use this controller. I could just put this in here, right? These just line up the pins, put the pins in together. And then I could plug them in via SATA, right? And then I'm gonna plug this into the uh, to SATA coming from the power supply. And then that's basically it. And then I could use this controller, which is whack that you can't use the, they don't have a remote control. But the best thing to do in my, in my opinion is to use it with an Asia Horse Hub because you can just power them off of this four pin over here via Asia Horse Hub and then just daisy chain them into, you know, like I showed you guys all like this and then plug this in into the hub and essentially plug them into this hub, the Asia Horse Hub, and then essentially it's that easy. It's one, two, three. I, at least I, ho I hope all of this right now, I hope because I didn't plug, there's no manual. I didn't plug anything in. So let me plug everything in. Let me make sure everything works, guys. Let's go. All right, so as I was installing them into the uh, MOBO, I, 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 I basically messed up the installation. So essentially how I installed them was, you see, like I said, the, the RAM itself, the teeth of it should be lined up basically low, right? Going down, not a little higher. So essentially the right way of doing it is like this. So you, you want your RAM, right? Where you're gonna plug it in. Right, you want the Asia Horse logo to be on top, which I basically did. But the, I basically the the RAM the module the RAM module right. If you're gonna remove this, you want the RAM mod. You see where the thermal pad is? You want the RAM module facing you, right? Asia Horse logo up in the bottom, and the LED light Asia Horse on top. That's how you want to install it. So you want the RAM module itself, the 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 cutout here for the basically this cutout to be down not facing not high up so make sure it's down so when it's down you're gonna it's gonna basically pop into the uh into the ram socket on the motherboard correctly not this way this way is incorrect this way facing is correct so let's see if the camera even picks it up like this all right beautiful so this way is correct facing down right if we flip it you see how it faces up this way is incorrect okay so make sure not to install it this way with the tooth make sure to install it this way facing down so once you're going to put it like this facing down so like i said earlier the best way of doing it is the, the ram itself the modules have to be facing you so once they're facing you you could essentially put them over and then put all and put all put the uh, the thermal pads and all that and the adhesive now with the adhesive I, I actually learned that you don't need to put so much adhesive i put i removed the other adhesives what i did is just, just put one slot of the adhesive uh, on the other side you could put or you could put it over the um, the uh, the thermal pad so either way is the right I assume it's the right way because again like there's no um, inst instructions that came with this thing so that's basically it so make sure it's facing down it's gonna pop in but anyways now let's get to it I got so I, I have them installed I just have them basically looping in colors with my Asia horse fans which I have over here so I'm, I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna run through the RGBs in a sec I just want to show you guys how it's gonna look if you're gonna sync up you see all the colors are basically synchronized with the fans as well as the ARGB, as well as the, the RAM itself. Now, this is all done, you know, via their hub, as I showed you guys in, uh, in the beginning of the video and as well as how to connect them. This looks, it looks great. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Let, let me get into the more nitty gritty stuff. So, as you can see, I have one fan missing over here. Uh, these RAM sticks, uh, RAM heat si sinks are not low profile. So, unfortunately... Uh, in, in my situation, I had a fan over here and I had low profile RAM, so I could basically put this fan through. So if you are in the similar situation where you have low profile RAM and you have an AIO, these things are not going to be compatible. This is how it's going to essentially look. Now, if you don't, you could essentially get them and you're not going to have no issues. Also, remember, if you don't have a, a basically an AIO here, if it's just naked uh, with fans, you're going to see those wires. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, those wires are all going to stick out, so it's not going to be as tidy. I mean, you might have to, like, run them. Maybe, I also mentioned that, you know, maybe you could just flip the heat sinks and see if you could route them from the bottom. I, I don't know. Like, whatever creative way you guys could possibly get, you guys, you know, are going to get in that sense. But overall, they are lit up. They are all synchronized. Like I said, they run through the, uh, with the Asia Horse Hub. Now, if you don't want to run them with the hub, I believe you could just daisy chain them and run them off a three pin header off your motherboard. This motherboard doesn't have a three pin header, it has a four pin 12 volt header. It doesn't have a three pin five volt ARGB header. So you you are you might be able to do that again. I'm not too sure. I didn't, you know, didn't have a manual, didn't have anything, but I believe you are you could just run it through and you could run it through the Aura software or MSI software or uh, 
Azrock software, any of those softwares. But anyways, let me just run through the ARGB um, debate. The ARG, keep on saying it, the RGB colors through the hub. And one more time, um, let's say if I like switch them, let's say if I put a solid colors and they're all gonna be solid colors, you guys can see here. But in this, what I wanna do now is just, I wanna just focus on the colors themselves for the um, for the RAM, as you can see, it's gonna go all the way. Man, looks dope, man. I can't hate so much, but let's run through the colors right now. All right, guys, so let's run through all the solid colors first. Now, this is white. Now, the white is not white. Uh, I don't know how the camera is gonna pick it up, but these first two right ones are like more like a greenish, and then this one is more like a pinkish. Yeah, so th these do not display a good white color, guys. So white are, are, are absolutely terrible. If you wanna get these just for white, do not, because this is not representing white colors. Next, we got red which actually does look like red. They all look red. They all look pretty dope. Hopefully the camera picks it up nicely. Next, we got green. Looks green. Green looks actually really nice and blue looks really nice. So red, green, and blue look absolutely beautiful. And then uh, we could just uh, cycle through them as auto. The rainbow looks dope. I like this effect a lot. It's gonna have this. So all these effects, let's see, you could, uh, I think you could, and then we could lower the brightness and then we could adjust the brightness. So I'm lowering the brightness. This is it low all the way. And this is basically, so the brightness adjustment is fire in these, um, in these um, RAM, um, these heat sinks. Uh, and then we just, we have this, it's just going through different effects. I guess we could have like this effect. I mean, you guys get the point. <laughs> you get plenty of effects with these things. Now, I'm not sure exactly the longevity of these LED bulbs, how they're going to last, how long they're going to last. Again, no information about them whatsoever. Uh, they're not that bad. And of course, you could turn them off and then you could turn them back on. Let me see. There you go. You could turn them all back on and they're all going to go cycle through colors. But I mean, there's plenty of colors. If I could just like cycle through them all. There's gonna give you, I mean, there's there's typical Asia horse. There's plenty of uh, plenty of these colors and whatnot. Modes, oh, no, this is fan speed modes. Then you have this over here. You have this effect. Yeah, the camera's probably doing a terrible job catching all these effects, but I'm trying my best here, guys. And. We have like this effect, but yeah, I mean, look, if you're in the market of just getting, if you, you know, the best thing for these, if, if your Ram does not have heat sinks already, these, these heat sinks, I'd say just get these. But like I said earlier, if you guys already have heat sinks, just be very careful. I personally probably just won't even recommend it because prying it out and all that is going to be absolute headache doing it. But these are the Asia horse heat sinks, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. I'm Coach of Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces.